I proposed to Sue, and she said yes. You're marrying my brother, are you insane? What else was I supposed to do, Emily? My entire family is dead. Okay, promise me two things. One, that you won't move away to Michigan. As far as the first one goes, it's really Austin's decision. Two, that you'll always love me more than him. But as far as the second, I wouldn't worry too much about that one. We've decided we're not moving to Detroit. I wish I could just marry you. Let's just run all the way to the edge of the earth and fall off. Sounds nice. How do I look? Handsome. I just can't stop thinking about Pompeii. The whole city covered in ash. That's how I feel sometimes. Like I'm frozen. You really are my favorite person in the world. She's my fiance. Yeah, well, she's my best friend, and you'll never understand the love we share ever. You're suffocating me. I can't breathe. Do you understand? I can't breathe. I'm leaving. I have to go. I realized without you, I might as well not exist. You're you're the only one who truly loves me. That's not true. My brother loves you. He adores you. And I think you should marry him. I came back. For who? For you. Why are you acting like this? Like what? A frugal little housewife herself. Maybe I could be a housewife if I tried. You? I never thought I'd be jealous of a man stealing your heart. You look gorgeous. I do. I'll always be here now. Be right next door. Right next door and the whole world away. I'm pregnant. It's too much. It's all too much. I hate the fact that... That what? You are not doing it with me. But up and down the hills, I held her hand the tighter, which shortened all the miles. And still her hum, the years among, deceives the butterfly. I chose this single star from out the wide night's numbers. So forever. I loved them. You did. It's like my heart almost explodes. They make me feel things that I don't want to feel. Like when I lost the baby. Your poems are works of genius. You owe it to the world to let them be seen. I don't need the world to see them. I only need you. Well, I can't be your only reader anymore. That's why I've invited this man tonight. This man who is going to fall in love with your poems. When do I get to read a poem? He said that you're a brilliant poet and he wants to publish you. I'm scared. What are you scared of? Getting published. I need a little time. I want to be published. You do? I don't want to disappear from this earth without anybody knowing who I am. You look gorgeous. The minute they heard he was publishing me, they just started to assume that we were intimate. It's the most insulting thing I've ever heard. I came here tonight to be seen, and so far it's been a pretty unpleasant experience. You deserve to be seen, Emily. You crave meaning. You crave beauty. You crave love. I have not seen you since the opera, and we need to talk. 
I used to have this confidence, this power. As soon as I gave him my poem, I lost everything. It's all going to be okay. Sam is going to publish your poem. Maybe you'll be able to write tonight. Maybe I will. I'm rooting for you. Sue has betrayed you. With Sam. I've known for weeks. You know about Sam. You know about the baby. What baby? Hey, buddy. She was pregnant, but then she, she miscarried. Give me back my poems. No. I don't want to talk to you. I don't even want to look at you. Come to think of it, I don't ever want to see you again. Your poems are too powerful. They're like snakes. They slither into me, and they coil around my heart, and they squeeze me until I can't breathe. They are glittering and venomous, and they bite. I got scared, Emily, of you, of the way that you grip me, of the way that you poison me. You can go back to your perfect parlor with your fancy dresses and be as exquisitely empty as you like because I will never make you feel anything again. I pushed you towards him because I wanted to escape what I was feeling. And I slept with him because I didn't want to feel it. And the biggest thing that I don't want to feel is what? But just say it! Is that I'm in love with you! Stop lying to me! I love you! You're always with me. I can't escape from you because the only true thing I will ever feel is my love for you. When I'm with you, that is the only time I feel alive. That's all I've ever needed make you feel that way. I write for you, my Sue, for you alone. That's enough. I will never let go of you again. No, Sue! Not. You're having my brother's baby. That doesn't change anything. I only love you. I would like to live in a little house, just us, and raise this baby together. Wouldn't you come and kiss me, please? My marriage is a lie. But you know that, don't you, Emily? Austin, stop. My family is in complete chaos right now. They have no idea how special you are. I mean, the, and instead they treat you like you're the crazy one. Once this baby's born, I want it to know that whoever it turns out to be, that I love it unconditionally. Same way I love you. If it were up to me, we'd run away from your family and raise this baby together. I think I'd miss them. One. It's your Uncle Emily. Choose your family over me. What I want is to be writing poems, but life keeps getting in the way. What if I need more than your poems? What if right now I need all of you? I love you, and I, I want her, and I can't get enough of her, and if I was on my deathbed right now, all I would want is Sue! I love you more than anything or anyone on Earth, and you need to know that so deeply that you never doubt it. You need to know it in your bones. I can't breathe without you, and I can't write without you. A poem? Which one? Safe in their alabaster chambers. Oh, that's, that's one of the ones I sent to... One of the ones you sent to who? To you. To, that's, um, yeah. Go on. You need to explain this to me. He invited young writers to reach out to him, so I reached out and sent him safe in their alabaster chambers. I am in danger, sir. Oh, my God, Emily. This letter makes it sound like you're helpless. Like you're completely alone. It doesn't even mention me. You think you're fighting for something, but really? You're just running away. You don't even care about my poems anymore. Of course I do. I just... Then why should you take it personally when I reach out to someone else? For someone who doesn't even know you? Exactly. When you say you love a line, well, maybe all that really means is that you love me. I do love you, Emily. And what is wrong with that? Do you want every line to be perfect? But I want the mess. I want something that you can't put into words. I want you. And I want you to want me. Of course I want you. Kiss me. I can't. Today is just not a good day. Don't you realize today is all we have? Is it true what she said about you loving other women? It's Sue. It's always been Sue. I love Sue. I think you are 
so unbelievably lucky to have someone you truly love to spend your life with, I would run right into their arms and never let them go. You must have done one with you tonight. I gave them one of your poems. Will you forgive me? You should read it to us. She never reads aloud. I'll do it for all of you, mostly for Sue. This is better than Writing to you? Yes. Many letters and poems. Such extraordinary poems. He could one day be responsible for Emily's legacy. I'll wait as long as it takes. People might have to wait centuries to really understand her.